Good morning, algebra students. Okay, so here's the deal. I haven't been getting very, very, very low return rates for all of my work. So to help those who are choosing to do the work but have maybe have difficulty understanding what needs to be done every day, I'm going to go through a quick little tutorial, like a, a lesson, okay, how I would do it if I was you. This is the way to do it, the best way to do it. I have set it up this way. You may choose to do it differently, but I still need the same work returned. Okay, so I'm going to go to the lesson. You go to your class page. I am picking one from geometry. Okay. That's maybe a little bit hard to see on my phone. So we'll give it a second to adjust. Uh, I'll see, not so much. Okay. I'll move it over here. So. You come here, this is was Monday's lesson for my geometry class. Geometry and algebra, you guys all have the same work, so don't, I'm just picking this one because this one I think is a bit easier for me to get through quickly. It says, I have directions. It says, do the do now, watch all attached videos, go through the PowerPoint slides, do the group of independent practice, complete the exit ticket, and the homework questions will be seven, eight, and nine. Now, everyone is not always going to be 7, 8, of 9, of course. I'll pick different homework questions. Other neat is just a little bit more detailed. This is kind of like the general directions for every lesson. Okay. Now, below this, I have a whole bunch of forms. Okay. The first one up is a video. This is a video from Castle Learning. This one in particular is only nine minutes long. It's about this particular topic we're talking about, 45, 45, 90 triangles. Okay, so that one, I'd watch that video first. Or I do to do now. Now, all these ones that have labeled PDF at the end, they can come up on any computer, so don't worry. So my first thing I would do is I would go to my do now. And there it is. It says, is the shape below a right triangle? So... If I don't have a printer at home, which I understand most of us don't, okay, I would do this. I take a sheet of paper, maybe a loose leaf paper on top. I put my name. I put today's date. Or, you know what, better yet, I put the date it was due, 3-20-4. Oh, this is actually today's date, 2020. This is today's work. I believe. Now, and I put the lesson with special right triangles. Just so I can find out what work this is, don't. This is important because if I get this and I say, oh, it's Tuesday's work, and I put it towards Tuesday when it's really the next day's work or the two days ago, you might not get credit for it. So you have to put this here, you have to put this here, and you have to put the date that it's due. Date that is assigned. So even if, let's say this is uh, 325 and I don't get to it until the weekend for some reason, still put 325.25. Okay? You'll be late. You know, put credit will be probably taken off. But at least you will have show me which one it was and I'll give you credit for the proper assignment. Now, do now. I'm going to make this easy on myself. I'm going to break my sheet of paper, a loose leaf paper, into four pieces, depending on how much I need. Do now. It says, is this triangle a right triangle? Now, I don't have to rewrite the question. I could just do a look at this. I say, okay, well, there was a method to this. If you remember from yesterday's lesson, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. I could put in the numbers. I'm showing my work because I don't just want answers. I don't want numbers drawn down. So, and you can go back to the yesterday's work. So for whatever reason, let's say I'm like, man, I don't remember how to do this from yesterday. I can go back and check it again. How did I do this last time? So I'm going to do the work. I'm going to use a calculator. Now, I understand not everyone has this calculator. Okay? 
So you can go to this website. We've been using it all year, www.desmos.com. There's an app you can download to your phone, which I prefer. But if you have a computer, you can do it on the computer. It's a graphing calculator. It's excellent. So no excuse, I don't have a calculator. Of course you don't have a calculator. Now you do. You have an internet connection, you have a calculator. There are other ones out there too if you want to look into other ones. Maybe someone will find something a little bit better. So, continuing with this lesson from yesterday. So, I do my do now. Well, 33 squared plus 56 squared. That gives me 4225 equals 65 squared, 4225. Now, if you remember from the lesson, yes, this is a right triangle. And that's what we're going to do now. So I did the do now. Next part. I can do the exit ticket. When I get to the exit ticket, at the end of the lesson. So at the end of the lesson, I'll come back here and do the exit ticket. Now over here, I can do the group practice, and I can do the independent practice. So these four things will make up your grade for your class participation. Each of these I'm going to weight the same. Do now, group, exit, independent. You can put them in any order you like, just make sure you label them. Now the next two parts, group and independent, are really easy, okay? Now, since I can't be there and directly teach you, what I'm going to do is I did this. I went onto this site again. Go back, go back, go back. Give me one second. Okay, so back to this lesson I was doing. Okay, yes. where's our lesson? Okay, so we're at, back to this lesson, back to the instructions. So after I did all this, okay, I've read the instruction, I watched the first video, I did the do now, I'm going to look at the group and the guided and the independent practice questions. So let's look at the group one. It says, what? is the length of the hypotenuse. You don't have to read, write this out. The hypotenuse of a 44, 45, 90 triangle whose leg length is five square root of three. Look at this. Okay, done. All right, I get that. That's not bad. I know what I want to do. Okay, let's get out of here. Cancel, go back to the instructions. On the bottom, you'll notice there's also a link on the directions. It's hard to see right now. Move it over here. There's also a link to the decimals calculator. So that's going to be on every set of directions. So after I did the do now, I watched this 45, 45, 90 right triangles lesson from Khan Academy. All the way at the bottom, there's two new videos. These two videos at the bottom, even though they might be hard to see for you guys, they are me going over the group practice and the independent practice. All you have to do is if you cannot do the group practice or the independent practice on your own, you watch the video. In the video, I will demonstrate how to do the group work how to do the independent practice. So that's like me having it typically like our classroom, except students sometimes do it. It'll be me doing the group and independent. If you cannot get the independent practice or the group practice, and this is difficult for you, watch the video and copy it down. At least you're getting practice of looking how it's done. You do those too. Now, the other thing I want you to understand here is where it says GOPPT. PowerPoint, that's my slide. Those are the slides we watch in class. 
those are all there for us to look at my slides for the entire class that we usually go through we look at this stuff every day and we go in there we figure out well we got to do this we got to do this we got to do this this like the first video you watched gives you instructions okay independent geometry homework everything we're so used to this this is you're going to look at me and go okay why are you giving me this easy work here well this is just for you to reference so there's your sheet over there now we're back to the instructions so all i have to do for the group and independent is i have to go to the special right triangle it's a five minute video special right triangles for the independent six minute video these are short videos i'm trying to keep them around five minutes three to five minutes not going to take you forever. Watch those videos. Do the group in independent if you don't know how to do them on your own. Exit ticket. So finally I go back to that exit ticket sheet. I look at the same thing, the do exit, which has both the do now and the exit on it. And I read that question. Your plan is build a path along a diagonal 100 by 100 square foot garden. To the nearest foot, how long is the, will the path be? So I do that, I do the exit ticket, I write that here, show all my work, just numbers get you nothing. So, so for group and independent, this is half the grade, more or less you're copying. Exit ticket to do now is the other half. Show me your work. 